Friends, Joe here at Reverb. Today we're going to take a look at some modeling amps. Modeling amps are really interesting because I think they appeal to a wide range of players. If you're a beginner, a modeling amp is perfect. It's affordable, it offers a lot of sounds right out of the box. If you've been playing for years and you have your go-to vintage awesome amp, a modeling amp could still offer a lot of value for home recording, for rehearsals, and a plethora of other reasons. So today we are comparing four of the most popular budget-friendly modeling amps. Let's get into it. For the first amp, we're taking a look at the Boss Katana, KTN 100. The Katana series is, for good reason, one of the most recognizable names in the modeling amp world. These amps feature five amp characters, clean, crunch, lead, brown, and acoustic, five independent digital effects, plus cabinet simulations and mic'd cab simulation settings, which are ideal for recording. Now, it's worth noting before we start, this amp and all the amps we're using today can get literally hundreds of sounds. Um, I'll just be sweeping through a few sounds that I think are really great on each amp. For more specifications and for all the goods, definitely check out the link in the description on the Reverb blog for more info on all these amps. Now for me, when I hear modeling amps, the first brand name that comes to mind is most likely Line 6. They've had their foot in this world for a while, they've always been innovators of the modeling amp thing. Uh, now they're releasing a brand new series, the Catalyst series, for a new generation of modeling amps. I have here the Catalyst 60, let's check it out. The Line 6 Catalyst series is a brand new lineup from one of the pioneers of modeling. The Catalyst amps are available as the 112 60 the 112-100, and the 212-200. With these amps, you have six amp voices from vintage clean to modern high gain, six reverb types and 18 additional effects, built-in power attenuation, 
DI XLR outputs and an onboard four channel USB interface. So this amp is loaded with features for sure, but in my opinion, the most valuable feature that this offers is the combination of the attenuator with the direct out XLR. Especially this day and age with home studios, bedroom studios, home recording, you can have good tone at a low volume and go direct into your DAW. You could have room shaking sound with very little coming out of the speaker. That is so valuable for, for us home recording people. Okay, so another really cool thing to call out about this Catalyst series is a lot of modeling amps, you know, they have all these wide range of voices and many of them are attempting to achieve a certain kind of sound, whether it's a chorus or a spring reverb or a tweed or something like that, and that's great. Then this offers something that is just weird and chaotic in some way, something that a regular tube amp would never dream of doing. Check this out. <laughs> Fender has Mustang modeling amps from every size and price point, from the speakerless Mustang Micro headphone amp to 150 watt combos. Today we're going to take a look at the LT25, and this costing a little over $100, uh, depending on what you're looking for, I don't see really how you could go wrong. Let's check it out. The LT25 features 20 amp models, 25 effects, 30 preloaded presets, and 20 spots for users to save their own. It also features USB recording connectivity.
Next up, we have the Blackstar Silverline Standard 20. Now earlier I mentioned that a lot of these modeling amps attempt to achieve a very specific kind of amp, a class of amp, or a power tube, or something like that. The Silverline Standard 20 is definitely geared towards that concept. Even just looking at this response knob, it just takes you through different kinds of power tubes. So it gives reproductions of classic power amp circuits. Blackstar's ISF knob sweeps from American to British tone. It has six preamp voices, it has a USB port for recording or reamping, and it has 12 fully customizable preset locations, 128 with the foot switch. Now this amp is definitely on the higher end of affordable, coming in around $500, and the way that it is geared with this kind of power tube response setting uh, jargon, it I would say is not as much geared towards beginners as some of the other models we looked at today. Even the look of it and the feel of it is a little more, it just kind of looks like an old combo amp or something. It's pretty cool, it's pretty sharp, I think.
Okay, so there you have it. If you're looking for a modeling amp, those are four really great options. Obviously, we didn't get to all of the models that are out there, and there are plenty. A few honorable mentions that deserve at least a call out here are the Positive Grid Spark 40, the Yamaha THR series, and the Vox Valvetronics series. If you have any modeling amps that you love, some of your favorites, let us know in the comments. And if you want to know any more about some of these that we went over today, check out the Reverb blog. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Thanks so much. Thank you.